In this lesson, we'll be talking about changing clip speed in Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2017. Premiere Pro offers three ways to modify the speed and duration of the clips. The three ways are Rate Stretch Tool, Speed Duration Command, and Time Remapping Feature. In this lesson, I'll be talking about Rate Stretch Tool and Speed Duration Command. Time Remapping Feature, we'll talk about it in the next lesson. What are we going to do to a clip? Basically, we are going to slow it down, speed it up, reverse, maintain audio pitch, and explore ripples. So, let's begin! First, the Rate Stretch tool. Go to the Tools panel over here, select the Rate Stretch tool, and then drag either edge of a clip in the Timeline panel. So let's do it. Let's presume that this is the clip we want to change speed. Alright, let's let's listen to the original speed first. For more smartphone videography tips, go to videolane.com. Pretend that we want to slow it down. Alright, so we're going to the tools panel, which is here, and select rate stretch tool. The one with two arrows pointing in the opposite direction and the dashed line in the middle. Alright, when you hover over it, you will see the word rate stretch tool or r for shortcut so select it and now our cursor is changed into two opposite direction arrows in the timeline so if you notice a red bar a red strike over the cursor it's because it won't work in the middle of the clip we have to hover it over the edge of the clip there you go you get a red colored square bracket now we're going to stretch it hold down your mouse and stretch it so if I stretch it two times the size, it'll be slowed down like half the speed. So let's play back and watch. Alright, do you hear that? So my voice is slowed down as well, and now I sound like Darth Vader. Next, we are going to speed it up. Okay, again, I'm going to hold the back edge of the clip, and this time hold the mouse and drag it inwards. Remember the original clip was somewhere here. Let's make it half. So we are speeding up like twice the speed. So let's bring our play hit to the beginning and play back and listen. Right, just like a chipmunk. So this is how you speed up and slow down your clip using the rate stretch tool. Next, we'll come to the other tool or rather a command. Okay, it's the speed duration command. You have more things to do here. First, we have to go in the timeline, right click on the clip which we want to change speed, and then choose speed duration. We'll be given a dialog box like this, and then we'll be changing the speed percentage. So let's do it. Let's bring this back to normal speed again. I'm going to undo one more time, undo. Okay, this is where we started. And then let's bring this cursor back into a normal cursor selection tool. Back to normal, let's listen to the original speed. For more smartphone videography tips, go to videolane.com. So now we are going to activate the speed duration command. Click on the video clip in the timeline, right click on it. We have several options. We are going to choose speed duration command. Click on it. We'll be presented with a dialog box like this. The first thing you see is speed percentage. So normal speed is 100%. Now let's say I want to slow this clip down maybe by 50%, right? By 50% like what we did just now. All I need to do is to type into this box here 50 and press OK. Again, you see automatically the clip is being stretched like double the length of the original Play back and listen. There you go. My voice is slowed down as well. Once again, let's right click on the clip and then select speed duration. This time, we are going to speed it up. Double the speed. Normal speed is 100. So double the speed is 200. And then we click OK. Notice the clip size or the clip length is being reduced. The faster the speed, the shorter the clip. So let's play back. There you go, the chipmunk Adrian. So that's using speed duration command. The options, okay, we can reverse speed, maintain audio pitch, or ripple edit. 
Okay, let me show you what this all means. Let's presume that you don't want Adrian to sound like a chipmunk. So what do you do? You right click, again go into speed duration command and you select maintain audio pitch. Press OK. Now listen. Now Adrian is speaking very quickly but with his normal pitch. No more chipmunk pitch. Same goes for the slow motion Adrian. Okay, slow motion Adrian is at 50% and maintain audio pitch. Okay, if we don't maintain audio pitch, you'll be hearing a Darth Vader, right? So now let's play back. For more smartphone videography tips, go to videolane.com. Okay, so that's the normal pitch at slow motion. Okay, next we are supposed to explore reverse. Let's go in here, uncheck this, and check reverse speed. Let's listen to reverse speed at normal rate. Press OK, listen. Sounds a bit like a foreign language, right? Now, one more thing. Last one. Ripple edit. What does this mean? Ripple edit, shifting, trailing, clips. Okay, let's turn this off. Did you notice when we slow down a clip, the clip becomes longer. When we speed it up, the clip becomes shorter. Let's get out of this. Okay, we are playing with one clip only. What happens if we are in a big project and there are many clips and it's in between clips? Let me show you an example. I'm going to drag another clip just next to it. Okay, see what happens. If I were to change the speed to, let's say, slow it down, 50%. You notice this? The, the clip did not extend. The clip slowed down but remained at the same length. Okay, that's because there's another clip here. It's a good feature so that you won't destroy the rest of your edits. Let's say you have done plenty of edits here, you won't destroy or you won't damage it. So the clip will slow down but not push everything away. But let's say you won, you don't mind it pushing it away. You have to activate the third item, ripple edit. Okay, so let's let's bring let's undo this first. Undo and then try speed duration. Select ripple edit one more time. 50%. Watch what happens here, right? Okay. You saw that? It pushes the, the clips on the right away. The same thing is true on the other side when speeding it up. So let's undo this. Let me show you a demonstration of speeding it up. So I'm going to speed up to 200%. Now without ripple edit, let's see what happens. Okay. You know this? When you speed up a video clip, it becomes shorter. And when it becomes shorter, it leaves a gap. Again, it's good. It protects your edits in case you have plenty of things done on this side. What if you don't mind it being shifted together with the clip? Let me show you. Let's undo it. Right click. Select speed duration. This time I select ripple edit and I increase the speed to 200. Watch what happens here when I press OK. Saw that? The clip reduces its length and whatever on the right automatically joins with it. So that's the meaning of the ripple edit. If you like this video, click the thumbs up, leave some comments, leave a question and don't forget to subscribe for more. If you want to get the complete course on Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2017, go to this URL now.